Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, I've been doing a couple of uh, videos in a row and some hauls and what I've been loving, some makeup videos that are tutorials and, and reviews, and now I am going to do my, you got it, Bath and Body Works haul. Why did I go there? I needed some hand sanitizer for my purse. <laughs> and so I got that. And then of course, whenever you're in there, uh, the little pocket bags is what I like to have in my purse. And then when I was in there, of course, I had to have a fall candle because I could smell it. And I got this one, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And y'all, I highly recommend it. It is so, so fall smelling. But then I had also done a candle holder last year that was this fox. I don't know if y'all remember it. And I fell in love with it. But then I ended up saying, you know what? I was putting together a giveaway package that had a fall theme and a fox theme, like fox socks and fox. The sanitizer had the little picture on it and all the candle had a little fox picture on it and I thought I should give that away so I gave it away. And I saw this and I bought it and then I realized this is not a candle holder. This holds your soap. So I went back and said, hey, I walked back to the front store and said, hey, I need to get some quick soap. And I want fall soap at fall time. So I got this sweet cinnamon pumpkin with the little pumpkins on it. And I thought, perfect. It's perfect for fall. Since it's not quite fall yet, I went ahead and got another one that isn't orange uh, that I can really use anytime, but still have a fall feel that's not the pumpkin theme. And this is the cinnamon, I'm sorry, the uh, champagne toast. And I just like this all the time. And really, you don't have to put this, it's just pretty the way it is. You don't have to, um, even put this in one, but I do still like it. Isn't that cute? So, I don't know. I may have that in the bedroom. I don't know. I will probably do both because I am just ready for fall. I don't care who likes it. I'm ready for fall. It's just so hot, and it is back to school, which is the fall season. Okay. Then, I thought, well, but I do want something that um, holds a candle. That's not maybe the fox. And my day, I've been caregiving my dad. He's um, he's struggling. He's 93 years old um, with a lot of pain and um, some forgetfulness. And so I've just been trying to evaluate where we are on some things. And so I've been living with him for about a week and a half. And um, it's been frustrating. It's been a gift and a pleasure. It's been uh, depressing. And it's been joyful. It has just been a, an emotional roller coaster ride. And those of you who provide care for someone, whether it's an elderly parent or um, a special needs child or whatever it is, it can be all of that. You can have all these wonderful, special moments. Then you can be real ornery with each other and impatient with each other just because you're two different people. Um, and then you can just have these moments of joy in the midst of a depressing situation because it's hard to watch another person struggle and um, but then you can have the joy that God's allowing you to be a part of helping them and that it's the best use of who you are you, to serve is to serve like our Savior so my dad loves squirrels and every day after lunch before dinner he always has a little bowl from lunch where if he used or dinner the night before if he used some bread then he tears the little pieces off and puts them in a bowl if he eats an apple he'll eat it all the way to the skin, but then he'll save the skins. Um, I had some breakfast bread while we were there that was a banana walnut bread, but walnut nut bread. And it was super sweet, and I thought, you know, it was good one time, but I don't think I'm going to eat it again. I started throwing it in the trash. I thought, don't do that. They would love those little nuts. They're probably a little bit much sugar, but they'll, they'll, they'll be really jumping some branches. And there was just like six squirrels showed up at one time, and then this huge crow the size of a chicken, and the two blue jays and four cardinals and a couple of chipmunks and just all nut thatches and chickadees and just all kinds of little nature and it was just me and daddy just sat there and laughed and talked and he talked about his childhood and we couldn't believe all the animals and all that sort of stuff that were just gathering around us especially the squirrels and when i saw this when i went to get my hand sanitizer i thought i gotta get the squirrel one i just got to that is going to be my new holder so instead of this holder this has been burning a while, so it's very liquefied, so I'm going to be very, very careful. Don't want to have a fire. And this is just a plain clear one. What I like about this is it's it's small on the top and large on the bottom, so you can flip this. And you can, like, put your 
makeup brushes. Sit them on this so it'll look a little more elegant. Or, I don't know, sit a canister on this of sugar or in the kitchen or something. Uh, so I just like this. This is a Pampered Chef one. And I cannot remember. It wasn't for a candle. What was this for? I think it was some sort of a utensil case and then also you could set their cake plate on it and this fit right in the groove of that to lift it up so you could either have a cake plate that wasn't on a pedestal or one that was so I can use that for so many different things so I love that y'all see it back there a lot and I am going to now put our little cinnamon candle it's kind of hot so I'm going to be very careful and it fits right in there and there's our little squirrel I kind of want to do it in an angle so you can see the little squirrel he's kind of cute I think. What do y'all think? And look, see the little acorn? There's a story behind that. Because we have oak trees in my parents' yard, um, on weekends, one of our chores, uh, before we could go do stuff, we already knew that you had to get a trash can full of acorns. Because my dad wanted the lawn not having little acorn trees and all knotty when you walk through. So you literally, this was back when you had metal round trash cans. Aluminum trash cans. And um, the lid is what we would use to put our, uh, to just, you know, you just would run your fingers through the grass, put them in the litter, run your fingers through the grass, and you would do this a few feet at a time until you did like a quarter of the yard, and then you could go for the day. And you had to do that like Saturday and Sunday if you wanted to go do anything. My parents always said, you know, you absolutely, you can go have some fun, but you're also a member of this family, and part of that is contributing to the chores of the home. And I'm glad they raised me that way. I think it was the right thing to do. But to this day, it is, um, a symbol for me and my family about acorns because that's something we were like oh you gotta pick your acorns and all the little squirrels so also the acorn is the seed of a great mighty oak tree so if we had a crest if we make a family crest which maybe I will um, it would definitely have an acorn in it and I remember when um, Princess Kate got married to um, Prince William and um, I know she's not Princess Duchess of Cambridge but I'm gonna call her Princess Kate but um, her earrings that her parents made, their crest involves an acorn, and you can see it in her wedding earrings. It's like a um, uh, a big oak leaf that goes back over her lobe, and there's a little diamond um, acorn that drops down, and I got a copy of those, and I absolutely love them. So, anyway, I need to wear them more. But, um, so, I just, very, very sentimental. I really, really like that, and so that will be our backdrop for a little bit, because I feel like we're coming into fall, and I love fall. So, there there so anyway that I think that and the little um the little I, I got the hand sanitizer again in the same um just autumn scent I just like I did the soap I feel like it is just a good that cinnamon just gives that little um the smell of that kind of something goods cooking in the kitchen and the pumpkin scent it's just uh, there's a little dog here um it's just very it helps me get in the mood for fall. So uh, I went ahead and got the two little hand sanitizers for my purse, which they're in my purse. The only reason you don't see them, but you, you've seen the little pocket backs, the little hand sanitizers they have. And that's what I got just to have in my purse for when I go in and out of places. Even though I wear gloves, when I take them off, I hand sanitize again. And when I get home, I'll wash my hands two or three times at least. But um, I just, yeah, I had to go ahead and do another Bath and Body Works haul because I do love their products. I do. And I like their White Barn, which is also there. And they just remodeled our store here in Peachtree City at the Avenue. And it's really, really pretty um, just to be able to shop there. Of course, they've got very, very strict guidelines, which I like. I want them to. Uh, you, there's only a certain amount of people that can be in the store at a time. So they have little even um, discs on the sidewalk for people to stand in line six feet apart. And then as two people come out, one person can go in. And you, the flow of the traffic is only goes one way. Uh, the people that register are behind big, huge shields. Um, and everybody uh, is required to wear a mask. And they're just doing what they need to do to be safe. And so those are the only stores I go in. Um, even for my grocery store, I usually order ahead of time and just pull into the parking place. At Kroger, you can do that. Velvet! What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, come here. Come here. Come all the way here. No, come here. All the way. Sometimes y'all all call Velvet to come here, and she comes almost here, because she's she's in charge. It's how she feels about it. Let's get you away from that flame. And the bag. I know you don't like the bag. So Velvet's here. 
should be thing. Yeah, you're not barking anymore. Hmm? You want to say hi to everybody? Will you look up at the camera? No? No interest whatsoever. Okay, she wants to go play. Go play, baby. I'm sorry. I set her right down in the bag. <laughs> she didn't like that. But anyway, uh, let's see. Did I run over? I didn't run over yet. So anyway, I just want to say that I am a huge fan of Bath & Body Works, and I love their products. No, I'm not an affiliate of any kind. And um, I just wanted to show you all the haul. It's not as huge of a haul as I have done in years past. I find that I'm able to tolerate the three wicks only long enough because, see right there, that's how long you're supposed It needs to burn all the way out to the edges for it to, as it cools down, sit right for the next time. So it usually takes an hour or two. So you shouldn't even light a candle unless you've got that kind of time. But also, when I snuff this out, and I use the lid um, just because it is a metal lid. I'll just show you. Um, I would never do that if it is not a metal lid. And I watch it. Like, I'll just show you. And I make sure I see those flames immediately go out. They do. It's immediately smoking. And so I know, touching it, it's not that hot. And the way that it puts that light out, I mean, those candles out, it immediately suffocates it because there's so little uh, space between there. And the next time you open it, it will have a little bit more of a smoky smell to it. Not bad. You'll see, and all this will have, the melted part will have um, hardened, but only to a certain point. And then the space between the top and how far it comes down will get bigger and bigger. And therefore, putting it out that way, it may take a little longer. And so sometimes, if you don't mind the smell of, a, of when the wick's blown out, you can either put your hand behind it so that you don't blow wax on the wall or wherever, or either just kind of blow down at it a quick one, just like birthday cakes were like or you can use their snuffers, and that's what I recommend. So anyway, that's all. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I will be doing lots of more fall stuff. So comment below, what else would you like to see? Um, I thought about doing an updated what's in my bag.